Hello guys, welcome to MSI Gaming and this is another video with the GT75 Titan 8RG. So quick update. So this laptop is having the latest 8th generation 8750H CPU. Also we have another variant in the same laptop which has an i9 variant. So as this laptop has got like 4 RAM slots so you can upgrade it to 64. Currently the RAM on this laptop is 32 GB. Talking about the GPU, so this laptop comes with a 1080 GPU, which is a 1088 GB GPU. Uh, now, there are some new things about these laptops. So first of, first of all, I'll start off with the display. So the display on this laptop is a 4K 100% Adobe RGB display, which gives you like a very crystal clear picture, which is very good for like designers and producers and all those guys who are into like animation and creative stuff. Now, uh, talking about the keyboard, the keyboard on this is a perky RGB backlit mechanical keyboard. So I would like show you how it sounds like here. So you can see that it, it's got like a very good tactile feedback with like a blue switch, Cherry MX blue switch sound. So I, I'll, I'll, sh I'll quickly show you how, how it performs while gaming as well in, in, in a few future videos. Now, Looking out for the Dragon Center, so this is something that has been updated in the 8th generation laptops. So talking about the Dragon Center, so the old UI you can check out in the video which we have uploaded previously. So the, the UI was very simplistic, now minimalistic, now we have updated this. Now the UI on this laptop is like having like all dials. So you can see the GPU, the CPU, the memory and the disk. So these two options will be showing you the temperatures of the GPU and the CPU. Talking about the device information here. So that like a quick update of what exactly you have the RAM, the GPU, the CPU, the SSD, which is at super RAID. That is it, it has got RAID 0 configuration two SSDs. Now talking about the hard, hard disk, it has got like a 7200 RPM 1TB of SDD. Talking about LAN, so this is also something special on this laptop. It has got a multi-gig LAN from Killer, which, which which supports like 10 gigabits of LAN. And the Wi-Fi is also on Killer, so you can have like the Killer Double Shot Pro. We'll, we'll quickly go through that later. Now, talking about this option. So this option here, it's something really special which has been added in the recent update. So when you... When you want to like play up some game or something, you can just click this free up RAM, which will help you to clear out the excess RAM that is being used by some background application by shutting them off. And this option is actually there in Windows, but there is a shortcut here, which will help you to clear out your extra load on your C drive, I would say. Let's see, I don't think we should be having any such thing, but uh, okay. Uh, let it run in the background now talking about uh, the ui so as you know this laptop is a 1080 laptop so of course it's a vr ready system uh, okay so just uh, clear it off so i'll just keep it aside yeah so as you know this laptop is having a 1080 gpu so it's supposed to be vr ready and also there is this different system tuner now so earlier we used to have like a very simple with multiple profile site created but no one used it right but in this case now we have few preset profiles let's say you want to use it on high performance mode you want to use it for theater mode or meetings mode you can create multiple profiles as well on this talking about the system tuner so in the system tuner you can actually have multiple profiles here which have been preset from msi factory plus you have two options to create your own profiles here you can change it and uh, over here in the current option you can change the dpi currently it has been set to 100 percent you can change it to 125 150 or 175 so in the shift mode so which can also be set from the function f7 option which will help you to like change the gear of your performance so when when it's set on turbo you can actually overclock the gpu to a level And you can uh, like ramp up your speed of your fan. Let's say you want it on the fast mode. And uh, let's say you want it on the advanced mode wherein you can set a different graph for your fans. 
or let's say you want to push it on ultra like turbo so this is how the sound of the fan sounds like i just switch it off so that there's no disturbance yeah so talking about the color gamut now we have the true color option here which you can directly use or else you can also log in to the true color application which will help you to customize this further so here you can change your display to an anti blue mode i don't i won't be able to show you the anti blue mode changing color because it's recording the screen but uh, you can you can easily see that there are different mode like the srgb mode the adobe rgb mode where it allows you to change the rgb the brightness contrast and the gamma and where whereas changing the cool neutral or the warmth of the display also there is an office mode which will help you to adapt your eyes to the office mode let's say you're watching a movie you can set the temperature to either warm side or the cool side so i prefer it this way now in the gamer mode again you, there is a lot of option that you can set so currently i'll be setting it to the srgb mode and we'll be looking out at the other options which we have in the system tuner so as you know all the msi laptops we have the keyboard with the windows key that has been shifted to the right side but yeah we had some people who were like asking for us like we want to shift it to the other side and make it like a normal keyboard so there is a button here which will help you to do that so whenever you press the windows key it will help it will make it as the function key so that that is how you can switch the keys now and also let's say when you're playing games and you don't want to like uh, press the windows key you can just turn it off and whenever i press the windows key see it's all turned off so you can disable the windows key here using this button and let's say you want to connect your vr virtual reality kit to the laptop you can just press this vr ready kit which will help you to directly optimize your system to use the virtual reality now talking about uh, the performance mode so when you go to the performance mode the shift is by default set to turbo which you can of course change it but uh, yeah it's all the already said why would you want to change it right now let's say you want to make this application uh make this profile activated whenever you launch a specific application you just select that application and whenever you run it it'll, it'll auto automatically switch it to that profile and when you, whenever you, whenever you come back from that application it will switch it back to the current mode so that way you can change your or switch your profiles automatically it's all automated we'll we'll also look at this mode but before that we'll go to the voice wizard so as you guys know that in while gaming you want to talk to your friends right so let's say you have discord pre installed in your laptop you can just select the voip software here and this will help you to actually change your voip over the game volume so whenever you're playing games so you can make your voice to be more prominent instead of the game volume so that's how it will help you to change your uh, voip in the game now talking about the mobile center so we have a new application here which will help you to like uh, connect your laptop to your phone you just have to scan the application as per your need and let's say you have an iphone let's say you have an android any other questions you can just push it to the comment section and we'll we'll make sure to answer all of them thank you for watching the video and happy gaming